Hello. Hello. Hello, it's someone there. Hello, my people. How are you doing tonight? Can you hear me? Can you not hear me? Hello. Okay, I can see, let me see, I can see only, only three students. I can see only three students. What's happening here? What's happening? Come on in everyone, come on in everyone. We are about to start our English session. This is the final week of basic module one, people. Wow, it's a month practically. So welcome everyone. I can see you getting connected. Yes, we're gonna give you a little time for you. While I actually modify my name right here. Ouch, 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 my ears. <laughs> what Hi, was good that? evening. Hi, Hello. Good evening. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Everything okay. Thanks What's for up? Asking. What's up, Victor? Hello, Vic. Hello, Miss Raina. Good, good evening. evening. How you doing? Good evening. How are you? Too? I'm doing perfect. Thank you for asking. It's been a good day. It's it's a very tired day, but very um busy. A very busy day. And you? You had a good day very today? Fine. Very fine. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. How you doing, Victor Andrade? Doing good? Very good. Very good. Everything okay over there? Yes. So far, so good. You had a good weekend. Good weekend. Good Saturday. Good Sunday. Yes. Good weekend. You had a good weekend. You say, I had a good weekend. Y ahí ya entraríamos a hablar del tiempo pasado, ¿verdad? Porque ya estaríamos diciendo que yo tuve. El pasado de have sería have. Entonces, I have. A great weekend. I had a fun weekend. All right. Relax. relax, huh? You had a relaxed weekend. Repeat, I had a relaxed weekend. I had a relaxed weekend. I had a relaxed weekend. All right. Hello, welcome, Ronnie Claros. How you doing, Mr. Claros? How you feeling today? Hi, teacher. Uh, great new company with Gilberto and Ramon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She rock. She rock company. Wow. Wow. So that's pretty interesting. Yes. Hey, do you feel better now, Ronnie? You were yeah. a little sick, right? Uh, enfermo. Uh huh. You were in last week. No, it's a problem. In... Personal problem. Uh, yes. Okay, it was a personal problem. Repeat. It was. It was a personal problem. A personal problem. It was a, a personal problem. You can say problem or you can say issue. Repeat issue. Issue. It was a personal issue. Repeat 
it was a personal issue. All right, all right. Very well. Very well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Miss. Um, let's see. Noel Vega. Hello, Noel. How are you? Um, he hello, Douglas. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, Good Mr. Evening. Sanchez. Good evening. Welcome to your English class today. How are you feeling? I am, I am good. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm very, I'm very well, man. I'm very well. It's Monday. It's Monday, right? Some people say that Monday is very difficult day. <laughs> yes. But you know, it's almost it's almost gone. We almost finished the day. So the best way to finish the day is to have a class, English class with you guys. So let me welcome to who else? Let me see. Roberto, can you hear me, Roberto Ramirez? What's up, sir? How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hello, gentlemen. It's a pleasure. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. Oops, that's like the ambulance passing in front of my house, perhaps. <laughs> All right. Hello, Miss Kathleen Portillo. How's it going, lady? Bad? I don't think. I hope not. So so. And who else? That's it. Okay, this ain't fine, teacher. Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay, okay, gracias, Miss. Muy amable de su parte. Vaya, lo tomaré en cuenta en su asistencia. Siempre mencionaré su nombre, ¿ok? Pero ya sabré que usted ya está acá. All right. Feedback. What do you remember? What do you remember from Friday's class? Ajá. Uh -huh. What do you remember? Do you remember anything? Ajá. Uh -huh. Contribute. Contribute. The clothes. The, the bird, what? The bird wear. Bear plus ing. All right. So the mm -hmm. verbs with ing, the rules, right? Yes. All right. All right. Do you remember any rule? <clears throat> when the bear is, is formed by two consonants and one vowel. Uh, at the end, right? At the end. Uh -huh, at the end. Mm -hmm. um, ah, Kathleen, <laughs> Kathleen is helping you. Kathleen says the CVC rule. She says the CVC rule, the consonant vowel consonant rule. Right? No, for sure. For example, oops. <laughs> for example, the verb get. Edging. That's the CVC rule. You double the last T, right? The last consonant. Getting. That's the gerund. Repeat gerund. Gerund. Ger Uy, se lo mandé solo a, a Kathleen. One second. Sería para todos acá. Getting. And gerundio. Guys, gerundio. How do you say gerundio? Jaren. Okay, vamos a una pequeña prueba de um, verbs in ing. Okay? Yes? Yeah. No? Maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go with let's go with dance. Dancing. Dancing. So we eliminated the letter e. Yes. And we added ing, okay. correct? Is that correct? Yes. 
Yes, yeah. it's right. Okay, I'm yeah. going to give you a different verb. Okay, you have to explain. You have to explain the rule. Why, why did you do this and why did you do that? Okay, so what about the verb sleep? Sleep. Sleeping. 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 Okay, sleeping. What did you do? What did you do? To change it into Jaren. You added ing. Repeat, I added. I added, I added ing. I Repeat, added, I added. I added. I added ing. What is the meaning? What is the meaning in Spanish of add? Agregar. Agregar. Añadir, right? Okay. The next verb is the verb be. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is the gerund? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? No. Uh -huh. Guess, guess, guess. <laughs> what do you think? Oscar. Add, adding. Victor Bing. says, Oscar, come on, Oscar, Bing. help us. <laughs> Bing. What, what did you say? Adding. No, the, ver the verb be. The verb be. Mm. Yeah. Two. You only have ing being siendo o estando. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. next. Yeah, only add. You only add. Lucy, you only add ing. Repeat. You only add. Only add ing. ING. Okay. Only add ING. I-N-G. What about, what about, what about the verb answer? Repeat, answer. 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 That's new for you. Okay, awesome. Good to know, good to know. Answer. answer. Repeat, answer. answer. The, opposite, answer. the opposite is ask. We're going to check ask. Okay. Answer. Answer. Yes. Answer. yes. You only. Repeat, you only, uh, you you only, only have I -N -G. Have, uh, answering. I -N -G. answering. Very answering. good, which means contestando, right? Answering. Contestando. contestando. The opposite, the opposite. Ask. Ask. Repeat, ask. 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 Preguntar. What is the gerund? Only add ing. Ask. You only add ing. Thank you, Ben. Only. Only, uh, only uh -huh. yeah. asking. asking. Correct. Uh, Thank you, Becca. Only add. You only add ing. Okay, awesome, only awesome. Add. Remember the rules. Remember the rules. What about the only verb? Add. What about the verb? Wash. Washing. Wash. Like, like wash the car. Yes, wash. I wash. I only add. Washing. Washing. Washing, you only add ing. Only, only add ing. What about the verb cry? Cry. Cry. Uh -huh. Cry. Only oh. add ing. No. E, e. No. Mm -mm. Check it out. Check it out. Eliminate why. Eliminate uh -huh. ing. Right. Uh, add, uh, only add, um, ah. E. Do we eliminate or we e. only add ing? Eliminate. ING. We only add ING. Oh. Yes, it's correct, guys. You were correct. Crying. You only add ING. It's similar to, it's similar to study. Repeat, study. 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 The gerund, what's the gerund? 
Study. 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 Present. Study. Jaren. Study. Yes. Study. Very well. So it's kind of easy. It's kind of easy to put it in. Um, to put it in Jaren. But there are some things we need to remember. For example, swim. There is something swim, special swim. about that verb. Well, yes. Swim. Swimming. Swimming. Uh -huh. Swimming. Yeah, but we do something with the, yes, we do something with the letter M. We double, yes, we double the M. Because it complies the CBC rule, remember? Consonant. Vowel, consonant, consonant, consonant. Wow. yes, yeah. very well, very well, okay, okay, good job, guys, good job, let me go over the attendance real quick, hopefully, oh, this thing went down again, okay, okay, let's see, let's go over the attendance, please let me know, I think we are there. Let me just turn off this one. Okay. So Douglas, Humberto Sanchez Diaz, are you here? Present teacher. Thank you. Hugo Ezequiel Deres Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you. It is Yvette Saldana Lenarduzzi. No, no. Ivan Armando Mendes Parada. Jose Heriberto Cruz Amaya. Josué Valmore Cruz Montano. Juan Ramón Navarro Díaz. Wow, there's too many people absent. Catalin, oh, Catalin, Stephanie Portillo de Lorenzana is here. Um, Lucia del Carmen Nayela Mejía. Present teacher. Luz Marlene Cornejo Álvarez. Melvin Rafael Díaz Mijango. Noel Ernesto Vegas Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Oscar Armando Flores Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Ronnie Osvaldo Claros Flamenco. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Alfaro Gomez. Present. Victor Manuel Andrade Galeas. Present. Let me see. Jocelyn Lisbeth Angel Inglés. Carlos Eduardo Gómez Gómez. Reina Mercedes Altagracia Barrientos. Carla Lisette Valladares Flamenco. Present teacher. Jeanette Smeray Guman Rosa. All right, all right. Let me just double check something here. Douglas, Hugo. Okay, there it is. Um, bueno, quizás vamos a hablar de las cosas administrativas en los últimos 10 minutos, right? Haciendo honor a los que están puntuales acá. Very nice. Let me go ahead and share. Let me go ahead and share the book with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Um, it should appear in a few seconds. Confirm. No me sirve la cámara. I'm sorry? <laughs> no me sirve la cámara, yo creo. Really? Oh, okay, okay. Pero gracias por notificarme. So, okay. Bueno. Yeah, it's important. Acuérdense que you la cámara es, es una regla, right? Yes, teacher. Y, mm -hmm. Pero no, hasta ahorita me estoy fijando que no me, no me está dando la imagen. No sé por qué y cómo. No sé usar esto. No problem. No problem. Lo digo porque todos tenemos que estar conscientes que es una regla, right? No es por usted. Sí, yo sé. No worries. No worries. Oh, be happy. My camera is bad too. Ok, gracias por reportar. Sí, son cositas que ustedes tienen que reportar, right? Aunque eh, es importante que lo uh, solventen pronto. 
Okay, so what do we have there? Can you read exercise two, Miss um, who? Miss Susana Alfaro? Can you read the instructions, please, for the simple present information questions? Can you read that, please? Okay, right. Six information question. Question? Yes. Using the W H word provide. Provided. Provided them. Them. Ask them to a friend and write down the information. The information. The information. Okay. So the WH questions we have is what? Yes. What? What? Please. Yes, it's necessary. Remember. Remember, yeah, that's the first day we gave you those instructions. Um, now, in, let's see. Number one, it says what? So you got to make a question using what? You have to remember the auxiliary, right? Um, when? When is for time, remember? When is for time. For a date. For a date. Okay? And where is for place where we have why and we have which yes okay so you have the last one is who you gotta make six questions total six questions total and i'm here to help you guys okay i'm here to help you and i need you to make questions about your daily routines. Do you remember your daily routines? Yes, do you remember? Yes. Okay, so you're going to say, for example, what do you do on Monday mornings? Yes? That's one example. What do you do on Monday mornings. That can be for number one. Okay. And you need to make questions with when, where, why, which, and who. Okay. I'm going to give you what? 10 minutes is okay. Do you think 10 minutes is okay? I'm here to help you guys. I need you to ask me questions. Teacher, how do you say this? Teacher, teacher, is this correct, teacher? Okay, I need you to ask me questions, okay? So on your notebook, write the questions, okay? Go ahead. Teacher, yes. Uh, num number one, uh, what is your favorite food? Is what correct? is your favorite food? Yes, is correct. But hey, let me see. Yeah, it works. Si no usan el verbo to be, tienen que usar uh, el auxiliary do. Okay. Aplica. Esa pregunta aplica. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Who is that? Watch your audio. Remember, let me see W H word. Plus do. Plans subject plus verb plus complement. Is 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 okay? Um, mm -hmm. Why he have a meeting? Why why does he have a meeting? Why why, why does he? Does he have a meeting? Mm -hmm. Good job. 
Why does he have a meeting? Good job, miss. Okay. Which es para opciones. Uh -huh. Cuando tenemos más de dos opciones, por ejemplo. Yeah. Let's see. Which, uh, which do you like? Which one? Which? Let's see. Oops, sorry about that. Which is the best? Hmm. Any question, let me know, guys. Any question, let me know. This is the moment. Practice your writing, making questions. Number two, when Ramon will connect in time? Mm, what happens is that that is future, Ronnie. Yes, and we have not started future. Aún no hemos visto el futuro y tú has adelantado. Tú ya estás en básico cinco, creo yo. <laughs> We're basic one, man. Trata de usar is o trata de usar la fórmula que acabo de colocar. Right? WH word, the auxiliary do, subject. Ah, aquí me pusieron una. Why does he have... Oh, that's me. <laughs> when... Ramon will connect. Podemos poner when does Ramon connects. No, connect on time. Así mira, Rennie. When does Ramon connect on time? Do you understand? Okay, okay. okay. Aplicando la, la fórmula del simple present, porque el tiempo que hemos visto es el simple present, ok? Uh, I don't remember different on and in. You don't remember? No. You want me to show you the slide? Right here? Do you remember that? De hecho... Ahora lo estuve practicando, pero sí se me dificulta bastante. ¿A todos se les dificulta, guys, las prepositions? Va, mientras los que están trabajando en las preguntas, les voy a poner, les voy a mandar un video. De las prepositions. Y los que puedan... Verlo ahorita sería cool. Los que no, pues mientras pueden hacer sus preguntas. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's right here. It's right here. Vamos a ver si no está muy pesado. Yeah, it's too heavy. Let me put the, um, the link. The link, we will use the link for that, okay, Ronnie? Los demás, making your questions, guys. Making your questions. Please, go for it, go for it, go for it. Okay, there you go, Ronnie. You can watch that video so you can check. Okay. Okay. 
Guys, you have any question? Any question on these questions? On these type of questions? It's WH words, guys. It's WH words. Let me share with you the the um the book one more time. So what we're doing is we're making questions to interview a partner. It's very important for you to make interesting questions, guys. Interesting questions. Let me check what do you have. Let me check. Okay, Reina, what do you have for number one? Hello, miss. What do you have for number one? <laughs> okay. Volunteer, do you have something for number one? No problem, no problem, I understand. Me. Go ahead, Susie. What time do you leave to work? Excellent. And how do you spell leave? Uh, L E A V E. Correct. V, right? V, V, V E, right? V. Leave. Correct. That's a very interesting question. Thank you. Do you have any any doubt, guys, for question one? For question one. Victor, what do you have for question one? Oh. Ah, por la dos comenzó usted. Sí. Ok, 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 no problem, no problem. Ah, permítanme, aquí me han mandado algo. Let me check, it says. Ok, yes. Ah, se las mandaste a todos. Super Douglas, thank you. When do you go to work? Ok, what time do you arrive? To home. Vaya, vamos a corregir solo esta. Vamos a ver. Vean el, el trabajo de sus compañeros. Qué bonito, guys. Share. Share your exercises. No me voy a copiar esto. Vaya, ahí sería. What time do you arrive? Y podemos decir arrive. Or get. Okay. okay. You can say arrive or get. Get. Se puede usar también como para, para llegar. Tiene muchos usos get. Okay. Be careful with that. Arrive. Home sería. Home. After work. After work. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, do you have your questions? What do you have for question two? Es, esta es una muy buena pregunta, um, Douglas. Good job. Oh, okay, ahí está respondiendo, yeah, Oscar. I leave work at 4 p.m. Okay, where do you eat in the morning? Very good. Donde, Gomez? That's an interesting question. In your house or in the work, as that is option say, Douglas, good job, Alder Douglas, well done. Which which do you color? Vamos a corregir esa. Sería which color? Mm -hmm. Damos which y damos la opción, okay? Which color shirt t-shirt do you prefer? Which color? T-shirt, T-shirt, do you prefer? What color T-shirt do you prefer? All right. Teacher, what does its name come from? Where does it? Puedes poner, where does it come from? Hablando de algo. ¿De dónde viene? Estamos hablando de algo. 
no persona, ¿verdad? Vaya, acuérdense siempre, capital letter, letra mayúscula con los WH words, capital W, where does it, y poner solo el subject, que sería E. Así sí te podría quedar. Where does it come from? ¿De dónde viene? I don't know. Estamos hablando de un bus, de un airplane. Um, I don't know. Es válido. Dice, which is your favorite team? Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo agregarle soccer. Which is your favorite soccer team? Ah, uh, y, y en la O ponerle el A. Uh, or. Or. Real Madrid or Barcelona. Let's see. Which is your favorite soccer? Aunque vamos enfocando al trabajo también, right? Or to daily routine, okay? That's an interesting question. That's an interesting question, though. Okay. Do you have any other example? Hey, remember you have to use who. Yeah. Who is for person? Yes, go yeah. ahead. Yes? Yeah. Any question? This is my question. Um, eh, como que quise decir, ¿cuál es el origen de tu nombre? Ah, y sería con el verbo to be. Mm -hmm. Te estás yendo más por el verbo to be. Vaya, hagamos esa, right? Pero quiero que me hagas también con la, con la fórmula del, del do or el does, ¿ok? Entonces sería, where does your name come from, Ronnie? Where does your name come from? ¿Ok? Ok. Let me chat it down here. Where... Esa sí, esa me gusta porque ahí sí siempre estamos usando um, el, la fórmula que queremos, right? Where does your name come from? Y este come from está hablando de eso, del origen. ¿Ok? For example, I come from Santa Ana. I live in San Salvador, but I come from Santa Ana. Okay, do you have a, what question do you have for why? Why? Por qué? Pidiendo explicaciones. Why? What do you have for why, Carla? Do you have anything? Why? Mm -hmm. No worries. Why do you drink coffee in the morning? Oh, I see lo va a ser hablar, Miss. <laughs> I like it. Why do you drink coffee in the morning? Guys, recuerden que con esta pregunta, un tip ahí, ¿verdad? Con esta pregunta de why, siempre vamos a dar la, la, la respuesta usando because. Because I, y damos su explicación, ¿verdad? Why es de pregunta, because es de respuesta. It's the answer, ¿ok? Okay, Miss Jocelyn, what do you have for who? H, no, I'm sorry, W-H-O, for person, who? Okay, thank you. Uh, Raymond, what do you have for who? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Hope you get better, brother. Okay, what about uh, Lucy? What do you have? Lucy? Está ahí usted, Lucy. Se ve todo gris ahí. Como que llegó el polvo de Sahara, mis. Yes, teacher. Está bien. Yes. Are you okay? Okay. 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 What do you have for, what do you have for, let me see, for who? The question who? It is, what do you have for the question who? The question for no, no, in process, no. in process, yes, <laughs> in process. <laughs> Kathleen, what? Oh, no, Kathleen cannot speak. Um, Douglas, Douglas, ya me dio una. Let me see, lugar es la que Douglas puso para who? Let me see. 
Which do you prefer? Who do you go to church? Vean, guys, esta pregunta de who tiene algo especial. Ok. Vemos el ejemplo de, tomemos el ejemplo de uh, Douglas. Teacher. Yes. Eh, es correct. Eh, which do you daily routine? Y every day sería otra pregunta. Mm. O oh, iría bien en una sola. Repítamela, porque sí, ahí son como dos preguntas que me hizo. Which do you daily routine? Every which day? is, no, es que which es para cuando usted tiene opciones. Por ejemplo, colors. Por ejemplo, drinks. Which drink do you prefer? Which drink is the best? Um, for example, places. Which place do you prefer to go? Um, La Palma or Apulo? The beach. Okay, right? okay. Yes. Eso es para options. Okay. Arreglemos eso entonces. Y quiero ver la de Douglas, no la puedo encontrar. Who? Okay. Which is better, lunch or dinner? Okay. Okay. Which, which is more difficult English teacher yes uh -huh. uh, how, how can say uh, cercano near or close near oh yes. thank you my pleasure, my pleasure. ah aquí está eh. ya la encontré um, dice eh, la pregunta de Douglas Who do you go to church? En español nosotros decimos con quién En inglés ese, ese, quién, ese con Esa preposición con Se dice with Digamos I with. 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 with Perdona I, Me faltó with Sí Y, 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 y uh, quiero, quiero enfatizar La posición de esa preposición With Iría al final de la pregunta. Al final, sí. Who do you go to church with? Can you repeat, guys? Who do you go to church with? Repeat. Who do you go to church with? With. Repeat. With. With. This is this pronunciation is very important. With, with, with. Who do you go with? Who do you go with? With. Who do you go with? With. 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 Who do you go? Who do you go? Who do you go? Who do you go? I go with. I go with. Repeat. I go with. I go with. I go with. I go with my friends. I go with my friends. I have a question for you. Who do you practice English with? Who do you practice English with? Do you practice English? What is the answer? I do not. <laughs> I do not practice. You do I, not I practice. practice uh, with anybody here, no. But when I play video games, yeah. Okay. So you say I okay, in este caso no sería con personas, sino en un video game. Pero la respuesta afirmativa sería I practice. Repeat, I practice, I practice. with my brother, for example. I practice with a relative, con un familiar. I practice with a relative. Okay. With YouTube. Practice. On YouTube. I, I practice, practice on, I said yeah, on YouTube. Pero lo que quería enfatizar es, who do you practice English with? A ver, ¿quién puede hacer? ¿Quién me tiene una pregunta con who? Who? Uh -huh. 
Who do you live with? Bien, who do you live? El otro live, ¿verdad, Miss Susi? Who yeah, do who you are. live with? with? Ya nos aclaró ahí Susi dos um, eh, enigmas ahí con los verbos de live porque la pronunciación es la misma. Right? El primero era retirarse. What time do you live work, right? Y este es live de vivir. Who do you live with? ¿Cómo sería esa respuesta? Who do you live with? I, I live with my family. So I two songs. All right, I live with my family. Yes, with my sons. With my husband. With your husband. That's right. Excellent. Bueno, did you finish the questions, guys? Did you finish the six questions? Yes? Yes or no? Yeah, finish. All right. <laughs> Speaking time, people. Speaking time, people. I'm going to monitor your speaking. This is your moment to practice. We're going to uh, speak and use all these questions. Okay? Okay. And you can choose any participant. You can choose any victim. You will say, my question is, yes, my question goes to, and you say the name of the person. My question is for, and you say the name of the person, okay? For example, I start. My question is for, let me see, for Carla, okay? My question is for you, Carla. Where do you work? I work in those two services. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I work in, in going through services. Construction? Did you say construction? Um, I work. Uh huh. In the construction service? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Thank you. Make a question to a participant, Carla. Go ahead. Um, Who's the question for? My question is for... I'm sorry, who's the question to? Mm -hmm. Choose a classmate, please, Carla. Um, Reina. Reina. Attention. What? Tell me. Uh, which do you call in the morning? Which do you boss or do you more call, call worker? Can you please repeat that? Slowly, slowly. <laughs> which do you call in the morning? Which do you boss or do you call worker? Okay, in that ah. case, in that case, because we're talking about person, we're talking about people, okay, Carla? We're going to use who. Ah. Okay? Okay. Can you make the correction? Okay. No, it's okay. Remember that we're learning English. Okay. Acuérdense que estamos para aprender inglés. So, de estas correcciones aprendemos, right? Okay. 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 So, who ah. do you go with? <laughs> Okay. In the morning, I, with your boss or with your coworker? I go to the work um, with my co-worker, Ricardo. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for the information. Good job. Okay, continue. Good job, Carla. Good job, Reina. Continue, please. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Point for you, Carla. Point for you, Reina. Continue, okay. please, Reina. Where, uh, Carla. No, no, to a different oh, classmate, oh, different. Okay, Yes, okay, with the different. Okay. I need everyone uh, to participate. Okay, okay. Uh, what do you go, Hugo, in Sunday night? Wait, wait, wait. The question is for? Where? Uh, Hugo. 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 Attention, Hugo. Ah. Can you hear us? Hi, tell me. Okay, uh, go. What do you go, Hugo, in Sunday night? Okay, it's going to be what? Or it's going to ah. be... 
What? It's what where. You, what, uh, where? Where do you go, Hugo, and Sunday night? Because you're talking about a place. Go, oh. go is to oh. go to a place. Mm -hmm. So the question is where? Yes? Where? Okay. Can you repeat it again, please? Where are you go, Hugo? Where are you go is not correct. Mm. Where do you go? Where, where do you go, Hugo? Um, Sunday night. Okay. Yes. Excuse me, excuse me. Repeat, please. Reina, where, where do you go on Sunday night? Ah, where do you go on Sunday night, Hugo? Wait, wait, wait. On Sunday night. Remember, on, on, on is for on, days. On yes? Sunday night. Yes. Not in the separate positions. On is for day, right? Can you repeat, Raina? Where, where do you go, Hugo, on Sunday night? Correct. Okay. Uh, no, I don't work to, uh, on Sunday night. No, no. You need to understand the question, Hugo. Let me repeat the question for you. Where do where? you go on Sunday night? Oh, with me yeah no problem uh okay i go to i work you go to, to work, work to work. repeat i yes. go to work i go to work i go to work repeat guys i go to work i go to work I y si me trata work. de usar una preposición como sería hugo to work i go to work. work necesito que at me use work. in oh. On or at. at? ¿Cómo sería? I go to work. At work. On Sunday. Correct. I go to work on Sunday. On Sunday. Good job, Hugo. Point for Thank you. you. Make Thank a question, you. sir. To a victim. I'm sorry, a participant. Let me, let me, let me <laughs> see. Remember, you need to use prepositions. <laughs> ¿Quién me, the, ¿Puedes the hacerme una victims. con what time? What time? Ah. What time? Por favor. Okay, okay. Let me Dejan see. Pedir gusto, <laughs> Next victim is. Te vale repetir, no hay problema, se vale. Refill. <laughs> Refill. <laughs> okay. Vamos, vamos. Let's see. Jocelyn. Can you help me, hear me? Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Hi. <laughs> question My for question you, Jocelyn. question is for you, Jocelyn. Hello, hello. Can you hear us, Jocelyn? What? Sí. Okay. okay. What time do you get up? I get up 4 a.m. ¿Y si podemos usar un preposition? Um, si estás dando esa hora, ¿qué preposition sería? At, at in, at. or on? Ok, entonces sería... I get up at 4 a.m. 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 Listen and repeat, guys. I get up at 4 a.m. I get up I get up. at 4 a.m. Repeat, guys. I get up at 4 a.m. Very good. Good job, Jocelyn. Remember, remember, when you give the time of the activity, you use at at 4 a.m., at 5 in the morning, at 2 p.m. Y ojo con la pronunciación de ese a.m., guys. A.m. A.m. Repeat, everybody. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Or 1 in the morning. Yes? 1 in the morning. Repeat, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Or 2 in the morning. Or two in the morning. Y siempre estoy usando preposition. Siempre estoy usando in. 
Si digo in the morning. Yes? Okay. Repeat. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. p.m. Or 1 in the afternoon. 1 in the afternoon. Repeat. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Or 4 in the afternoon. 4 in the afternoon. Repeat. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Or 6 in the evening. Or six in the six evening. In the evening. Repeat. 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. It's 9, 9 p.m. Or 9 in the evening. No, 9 at night. Repeat. It's 9 at night. At night. I said at night. At night. At night. At night. Okay. Very good. Okay, Miss Jocelyn, continue, please. Continue. Make a question. Miss Jocelyn, um, in class, go ahead. Who's the question to? Choose a participant. <laughs> Como se dice, ya se me olvidó para hacer una pregunta. Ajá, ¿cómo se decía para introducir la pregunta, chicos? I have, I have, I have, a, question I have a question for you. Excuse me, I have a question for you. Ok, ahorita voy a ver aquí. Excuse me, I have a question for you. Excuse me, I have a question for you, Douglas. Good big team. That's a good big team. Hello, Jocelyn. Tell me, please. Where do uh, you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where I, do you work? Excellent. Douglas. Okay. Okay. I I work at Aeroman in airport. I work at Aeroman. Did you say at Aeroman? Yes, right. At Aeroman. At vamos a usar at con nuestra empresa. Yes, I work at Inglés Corporativo. Yes, I where do you work? Inglés Corporativo. Where do you work? I work at, okay. I work at, I work at. MKB. Where do you work, Lucy? I, I work at MKD. Okay, where do you work? It is... I work at Mall San Gabriel. San Gabriel Mall? Yeah. San Gabriel Mall. Oh, sorry. Where do you work, Carla? I work at Consu Services. Nice, nice. Okay, continue with the question, please. Continue. Douglas, go ahead. Okay, let me check a list. Yes, please. Se vale repetir, so no worries. You can refill. Watch that television. I can hear television on the back. Who's that? Okay. Oscar. Oscar, hello. Can you hear us? Hello, Oscar. Hello, tell me. Hello. I have a question for you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, who do you live with? Excellent. Uh, I live with my wife and my two sons. And my... 
mother mother in law, I guess, or suegra. Yep, mother in law. Yeah. yeah, okay. Mother in law, okay, good, good, good. So you have a big family okay. there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the information. Uh, you welcome. The nice drill, problem. very natural. You rock and roll, Douglas and Oscar. Continue, Oscar. Okay, uh, Susan, <laughs> are you there? <laughs> yes, she is. Okay, yeah, Sus I okay, Susan. Okay, Susan. Excuse me. I I have a question for you. Go ahead. Puedo utilizar cualquiera, teacher, or Yes, sir. Anyone, anyone. You're the boss. Okay. 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 Uh, which is which is better for you, Netflix? Or Disney Plus. Mm, I mean Netflix. Oh, okay. Thank you for the information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can say I prefer. I, I prefer, prefer Netflix. Yes. Okay. I think. I think. I think Netflix is better. Repeat. Okay. I prefer I think, Disney Plus. I think Netflix. I Netflix. 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 I think Netflix. It's better, I right? think Netflix. Okay, Susana, go ahead. Good I drill, Oscar. Netflix. Go ahead, Susie. Okay. Um, my question is for Reina. Okay. Tell me, Susie. Um, when do you study English? Excellent oh. question. Um, I study English and my prepositions. Uh, prepositions. Uh, I I study English in. In my uh, lunch, in my time lunch. Can you help her, guys? Uh, in your our lunch <laughs> means I I <laughs> I eat my lunch. You can say lunch break. Yes. Okay, but what is the preposition you will use with that? Are you gonna use at? Are you gonna use in? in. Or are you gonna use on? Maybe at noon. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the, the noun is lunch break. Lunch break. Lunch break. Tu receso de, de almuerzo, right? Yes. Ahí es cuando yes. usted estudia inglés, entonces, yes. what, is the, what is the correct preposition? At my lunch break, in my lunch break, or on my lunch break? Mm. Oh. Guys, oh. any idea? Oh, oh. Hello. Maybe Hello. in. In. Eh? In, correct, ¿Sí? in my lunch break. In Remember, lunch break. ahorita estamos tratando de uh, implementar las prepositions. Go ahead. Okay. Can you repeat? Can you repeat that answer, Reina, for the class? I. Yes, yes. I study English in, 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 in my, my lunch break. Lunch break. Repeat, repeat, yes. guys. I study I English study in my lunch break. I study English in my lunch break. My lunch break. break. Correct. Break. Reina, make a question to Roberto. Go ahead. Yes. Roberto, let's uh, make Roberto participate. Uh, Roberto, I have a question for you. I have a question. I have a question for you. Uh, Roberto, where are you go to hire your coach? Cut your heart. Hey. Where do you get a haircut? 
Exactly. Where do Where you get? Do you get? Yes. What do you get? Uh, your hair cut. Where do you get your Where did you get? hair cut? Do you understand, people? Where did you get? Where do you get Where your hair cut? Your cut. Do you understand, Robert? I no. I do. I get where donde uh -huh. your haircut. Where do you get your haircut? Your haircut. Yes. Good question, you? Reina. Ojo, Reinita, no mezclemos ahí el, el R con el do, ¿ok? Si es un verbo de acción, tiene que ser okay. con auxiliar. Okay. Go ahead, Robert. Get. Sería I get, Robert, con la acción get. I, I get. I get my haircut. I get cut. Ajá. Siempre la misma acción oh. de la pregunta es la que vas a usar. I get my haircut. Uy, se me fue. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a cat. Es que mi gato no está acá. Thinking of my cat. <laughs> My no sería, haircut. Sí, sí, sí. Ahorita voy a correr. I'm sorry. Sí. I'm sorry. I get my haircut. Era para ver si estaban, si estaban listos. <laughs> You're not sleeping. I get my haircut. I get, I get her. I, I get my haircut. Repeat, Roberto. I get I get my haircut. 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 Um, I get my haircut. And where in, are? In donde mm -hmm. me corté el pelo. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. You understand. <laughs> Don't translate the Spanish. You understand English. Come on. I get my haircut in barber shop. Salon. Wait, a barber shop is, is a barber, barber shop, shop is different than a salon. A beauty uh -huh. salon is especially for women, you know, especially, but nowadays men and women can go to a hair salon. But for men, it's more yeah. common to say a barber shop. Barber shop. So, do you go to a barber shop or you go to a hair salon, Roberto? I get, I get cut, I hear cut barber shop in, in, in Metro. At Metro Centro? Where? At Metro, at, at, at Metro Centro. Entonces, para un lugar grande, guys, para un lugar grande, ¿qué preposición podemos usar? In, on, or at. Uh, ¿Quién me ayuda ahí con ese audio, please? In, on. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? In, in, in. ¿Quién más? ¿Qué Sorry. más? What the question? The question is, porque eh, Roberto dice metrocentro, right? Uh -huh. But it's a place. It's a, it's a big place, it's actually. A place. It's it, a big it, one. We can use at. at. Correct. At. Todos los que dijeron at. at, muy buen trabajo. Ese at, guys, lo podemos usar at. para lugares at. que son grandes, right? Lugares que son específicos. For example, I get my hair cut. At Metro Centro. Y incluso puedo decir Ara, Ara, Ara Barber, Ara Barber Shop. Repeat, Ara Barber Shop. Ara Barber Shop. Right, at Metro Centro. At Metro Centro. Ara Barber Shop. At a barber shop at, a at barber Metro shop. Centro. At Metro Centro. Repeat, Roberto. What is your complete answer now, Roberto Ramirez? A barber shop. At a barber. I get my hair uh, cut. I get, I get my hair cut at galerias. 
Oh, ya le cambiaste. At Galerías. Oh, Ajá, para... Ah, vaya, at, para ir variando. Ok. On, on Monday. <laughs> Oh, okay, wow. Roberto, make a question to a different <laughs> participant. <laughs> make a question to Iris, Leonard Lucy. Go, Robert. Go, Robert. Excuse me. ¿Qué sería, teacher? Roberto is going to make a question to Iris. Excuse me. Excuse me, Ronnie. No, it's for Iris. Very good. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Excuse you need me. to ask a question to Iris, <laughs> not to your me. best friend. <laughs> Excuse me, Iris. ¿Quién me tiene interferencia, guys? Help me with the audio, people. Where are you going to have lunch? No, ese es futuro. No hemos visto futuro aún. Estamos en tiempo presente. Y no nos vamos a enchivolar, right? We're going to get confused. Uh -huh. What did Can you make? Work? Repeat. What did you, what did you work over? Oh. What? I don't understand you, Robert. Next, next, teacher. Next, next. Escríbamela en el chat y voy a ver qué le puedo arreglar ahí. De acuerdo. All right. Let me see. Iris, I have a question for you, okay? Um, question for you is, who do you work with? Who do you work with? Who do you work with? Um, where do you go? Okay. Who? No, I don't understand. Who? Who do you work with? You don't understand? No, Iris, tiene, usted tiene la interferencia. I'm sorry, no voy a poder practicar con usted. Uh, let me go with somebody else. Let me see. Let me, let me minimize this one. Okay, my question is for Douglas. Can you hear me, Douglas? When you hear me... Yes, teacher. Let me. Okay. Douglas, the question Sorry, is, boy. why Where do you work every day? Why, why do you work every day, Douglas? Uh, I work every, every day by my son and my wife and my family. Okay. You know? Yes, because, remember Douglas, when the question because? is why, you better start with because, because you're explaining, yes? Okay. So you say, because I, because because, I work. Because I, I work. have, because I have, because okay. I have because my I family. Have. Yes, my wife. Yeah. Uh-huh. My, my wife, my my and my son my wife and my son and my son look at that because i have my family have my wife because i have my family and my son my wife and my son okay can you make a question douglas to a different participant what if you make a question to victor can you hear us victor okay Go ahead, Victor, are you there or no? Yes. Hello. Okay, go ahead, make a question to him. Okay. Um, do you have any or do you need help? 
Okay, Victor, what time what time do you put punching in the company? Good question. Do you understand, I, Vic? I punch in uh, at a a.m. Very well. Fantastic you, job. Victor. Great performance, Douglas. Good job, Victor. Make a question to a participant, Vic. Continue. Make a question to, let me see. Melvin, are you there, Melvin? Ivan, are you there, Ivan? Jocelyn, are you there? Luz, are you there, Miss Luz? Do you want to practice your English? This is the moment to practice your English. You stay quiet. It's difficult for you to improve your speaking. Luz? Maybe she has a dinner. Maybe she's having Be dinner. Because she... Vaya, hagamos el switch. Okay. 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 Ya me hicieron preguntas. Well, some questions. Siento que me quedaron en deuda y con algunas preguntitas, right? Pero ahorita vamos a hacer una dinámica, right? Different. I'm going to um, give you the answer and you have to make the question, okay? I'm going to chat you the answer and you have to make the question. Let's make one example. Okay. Let's make one example. Okay. That's the answer. What is the question? What time do you work? Almost, what? almost. You're missing what, a little what, what, what time do you start work? Your work. What time will you start work? Do you start work? Start work? Repeat class. What time do you start work? What time do you start work? You start work? Sí, Catalin, solo me le pone la, la T al final. Porque ese start es estrella, ¿ok? <laughs> Entonces, iniciar es start. What time do you start, Victor? What time do you start work? For example, Susana, what time do you start work? I start work at 7 a.m. Perfect, perfect. Good drill, good drill. Vaya, ahora vamos a irlo haciendo más fluido, ¿ok? Listos, activados, papel en lápiz, pen and paper handy. Pen and paper handy, si tienen papel y lápiz, o oh, ahí en sus files, los que están ahí en computadoras, right? So, next one. What do you do on weekend? When do you have uh, what do you do? Uh, what is not correct? What do you uh, have? have when is, is your day off? Day off? Day off? Repeat, Douglas. Oh, when do you have a day off? When, when do, you do you have your day off? Day off. Day off. Ah, magical! Repeat, guys. When do you have your day off? When do you have? When do you have your day off? Your day off. Okay, let me hear that drill. Let me hear that drill between Susana and Oscar. Action. Who asking? Anyone? Okay, ladies first. Ladies, go ahead. Speaking time, talk to me. 
at the same question. Yes, the same question. Well, it's a drill. When, when do you have your day off? Oscar? Uh, Oscar? Often, I often my day off on weekends. I often I have. have. I often have my day off on weekends. Fantastic. You're using prepositions. Good job, class. Next drill, next drill, next drill. <laughs> Coming. Let me see. Next one is. <laughs> What's your audio, Oscar? <laughs> God. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me mind, let me move in. What's your day off? What's <laughs> what's what's your microphone? Let me see, let me see. Okay. Make the question. Make the question. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Is it what? Is it when? Is it where? Is it why? Is it which? Is it who? Hard teacher. Ah. Uh? What did you say, hard. Hugo? It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Teacher Kalev is very pushy, huh? It's, it's very difficult. <laughs> I'm putting you to think. I'm putting you to analyze. I'm taking you to the next level. Take your time. Take your time. No rush. Guys, analyze. I spend time with my I spend my, my co workers. Who, who, who do you spend your time? Who do you spend your time? ¿Qué falta? Every day. Who do you spend your time? Who do you spend your Time. Preposition with on with, uh, on time. with with who, who do, do you spend, spend your time, your time with? with? Who do you spend, who with? Do you spend with? your time with? Repeat. Who do you spend your time with? I spend my time with my co-workers. Repeat. I spend. Repeat. I spend. ¿Qué es spend? Gastar. Invertir. I spend my time with my coworkers. What is the question? Can you repeat the question? Who do you spend your time with? Fantastic. I want to hear that drill between. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. How do you spend? Reina, yeah, Reina and Lucy. Can what? you speak, Lucy? Can you speak? Uh, who do you spend my time? Your. Your. Who do you spend your time with? Who do you spend your time? Your, ta with? your time. Uh, who do you your spend time? Your time with your time with okay reina and lucy with. speaking i spend my time make a question i make a question who, who i do you spend your time with who do you spend your time with yes sir you're activated how do you spend time with my worker make the question lucy how uh, Hello? La pregunta, la pregunta. Yes, make the question to Reina. 
Excuse me, excuse me, Reina. I have a question for you. Yes. Tell me nothing. I have a question for you. Um, who do you spend spend your time with? Repeat. Who do you spend your time who do with? You spend, who do you spend your time with? Todos, todos. Who do you spend your time oh, with? Who do you spend your time with? Okay, Reina, who do you spend your time with? I I spend my time with my uh, co-workers um, in the in the Saturday um, afternoon. Okay. Well, the question in Spanish. Can you repeat your answer, Reina? I spend my time. I spend my time with my co-workers on Saturday uh, afternoon. With my co-workers? With my co-workers. Uh-huh. In um, Saturday. In Saturday, is that correct? In Saturday? No, on, Saturday. on, on Saturday. On Saturday afternoon. On Saturday Remember, afternoon. if it's only the day, you use the preposition mm -hmm. on. On. Yes? Yes? Mm -hmm. If it's, for example, yes. the month, you use in. In. The month, in. Yes. In. yes. The month. On. Next question or next okay. answer. Sure. Oops, sorry. No. Yes. Uh, do you listen to me? I can listen to you. I can listen to you now. I have a question for you. Oh, okay. Super duper. Um, when when do you go on vacation? Excellent. Okay. Now repeat vacation. Vacation. When do, do you, you go? You said when or where? When, when, when do you go? Yes. When do you go on vacation? Vacation? Yes, vacation. vacation. Oh, okay. I go I go on vacation. Preposition. Good job, Marlene. I go on vacation oh, in August. Ah. Next oh, month. Here? Next month in in August. In, in August. 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 The best month. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful month. Is your birthday in August by any chance? Okay. Okay. I stay at a hotel. I stay at a hotel. I stay at a I stay at a hotel. I stay at a hotel. Oh, at the second hotel, hotel, because hotel is a big spot. It's a big place. What is the question? I stay. Where do you stay now? Repeat. Where do you stay now? Where do you stay? Quitemos el now. Okay. Where do you stay? Where do you stay? Sí, puede ser where do you stay. Aunque, aunque en realidad en algún contexto cabe lo que dijo Hugo. Where do you where stay now? Stay? Yeah. I'm sorry, Hugo. You're correct, brother. Where, where do you stay now? I stay at a hotel. It's correct? Uh -huh. Yes? Do you understand? Okay, Hugo, you make that drill. You make that drill, yeah. Hugo, with... Oscar. Oscar, speaking time. Go. Hey, hello, Oscar. Can you hear me? I copy that. Okay. Excuse me. I have a question for you. Okay, got it. Tell me. Where do you stay now? Uh, I am stay uh, at my home. 
I stay at. I stay at my home. Yes. Right now. I stay at my home right now. Very well. Very well. Good practice. Guys, quise quedarme acá en esta parte porque hacer preguntas así es very tricky. Eh, bueno, nosotros hemos hecho todo en realidad. Las hemos preparado, las hemos analizado y hemos estado eh, respondiendo, preguntando y respondiendo. Entonces, esta es la mejor manera para que ustedes eh, mejoren mucho con las WH words. Háganlo mucho. Jueguen con las respuestas y las preguntas también como finalizamos con esta uh, dinámica. ¿Quién mandó? Where do you stay now? <laughs> okay. And the happy face. Okay, so let me just stop sharing this one. Vamos a tener 10 more minutes. We go, sorry, 20 more minutes. Let me share the next presentation for you. Give me one quick second. Bueno, recuerden chicos que ustedes tienen que ir creando, ustedes tienen que ir creando desde ya su propio estilo para hablar inglés. ¿Verdad? Eh, tienen que crear un tono feliz, un tono amable, un tono profesional. ¿Ok? Eh, el inglés es estilo, right? So you have to create your personal pace, your own style. Usted va a ir creando su propio ritmo, su propio estilo. Les recomiendo no intenten ir hablando rápido, right? Es mejor hablar de espacios, right? Y seguros de lo que vamos a hablar, ok, let me just check here something, Salvadoran style, Salvadoran style, you know, slowly, but secure, ok, let me share, hopefully it works well, can you see my screen? Can you see it? A little blue. Yes, I can see. Oh, guys, saben que voy a desactivar mi cámara por este momento. Como voy a share. Cada vez que hago share con esto, no sé por qué se me pone así. So let me see if this works. Let me see if this works. Mire, mire. Se nos procede. Vale, ahí vamos. All right. How about now? Is it better? Yes, it's better. It's better. Very well. So, la vez pasada estábamos, estábamos describiendo. What are you wearing? Y decíamos, I am wearing... A uh, white shirt, right? I am wearing shorts. Yes. In this moment, in this moment, I am wearing, porque estoy vistiendo. Present continuous. I am. Aquí se uso el am, el verbo to be. Pero el verbo que le sigue tiene que ir en qué forma? Gerund. ¿Se acuerdan? I-N-G. Do you remember? I-N-G. Ahora, Alcanzo a leer. Ok. <laughs> ok. So, let me deactivate my camera. Maybe that helps. Ok, entonces ahora vamos a hacer yes, no questions. Pero vamos a usar present continuous. Estás tú vistiendo... Okay. Cierta, cierto item, ¿verdad? Affirmative, yes, I am. Repeat, yes, I am. Repeat, no, I am not. For example, guys, are you wearing pajamas right now? No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, nobody? Nobody's wearing pajamas? Okay. Are you are you wearing flip flops? Yes. Yes, I am. I am yes, wearing flip flops. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, I am no, wearing flip flops. 
No, I am. Wow. <laughs> Repeat, I am wearing flip flops. I am, I am wearing flip flops. I am wearing flip flops. Flip flops. Ah, flip flops. Flip flops. Okay. Are you wearing jeans? Yes. No, Affirmative. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Negative. No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. For example, are you wearing glasses? No, I. Yes, I am. No, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Negative. No, I am not. I am not. Are you wearing a tie? No, no, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Good job. No, I am not. Are you wearing? No, I'm not. Are you wearing a dress? No, I am not. I am not. Are you wearing a cap? No, I am not. I am not. I am not. I'm not. No, I am not. not. No, I am no, not. not. I am Are you not. wearing a sweater? No, no I am no, not. I am not. not. Very hot. Oh, I am not with this one. Oh, interesting. No, <laughs> it's very not hot. Are you wearing a belt? Do you remember a belt? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, Cincho. Are you wearing sneakers? No, yes, I, I am not. I am. I am. I am wearing flip flops. I am wearing sandals. I am wearing flip flops. I am wearing sandals. Sandals. Oh, that's sandals. very fresh. Very fresh. Yes. yes. <laughs> are you wearing? Are you wearing socks? No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Are you wearing a blouse? Yes, yes, I am. 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 Los chicos? No, I am not. Obvious. Obvious. But in the same person, is she wearing? Is he wearing? Okay. For example, look at Iris. I think Iris is working right now. But the question is, is she wearing pajamas? What is the answer? No. She no, no is she, she no is she not. Not. We, we have why wait wait we aquí estamos usando el verbo to be. Ah, yes. Ah. Okay, okay. Tria, no, no she's not. not. No, she no she's not. not. Or, no, or she's not. No she isn't. No she isn't. No she isn't. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's repeat. Let's repeat. Let's repeat. The question is is Iris wearing a dress? No, she's no. No, she isn't. Correct. Correct. Is Edis wearing a shirt? No, she yes, isn't. She is. no, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. A shirt. Yes, she is. A shirt. Yes, she is. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh. Yes, she is. Okay. Yes, she is. Okay. Is Susana wearing sneakers? No, la vemos. No, she is not. No, she is not. O tenés que preguntarle directamente. Excuse me, Susana. ¿Cómo sería? Excuse me, Susana. Sería directa. Are you wearing sneakers? Ajá, Susana. En vez de levantar ahí el pie, ¿verdad? Are you wearing sneakers? No, I'm not. Ajá, de la información correcta, entonces. I am. I am. I am. I am wearing, wearing sandals. Correct. Vistiendo. I am wearing sandals. Hey, guys. Is, is Roberto wearing a t-shirt? I don't know. I can see him. I, I can see him. Yes. Excuse me, Roberto. Are you wearing a t-shirt? I am wearing shirts. A shirt. Okay. A shirt. A shirt. 
Yes, it's formal. It's the botones. It has buttons. So it's formal. Okay, excuse me. Is Hugo wearing shorts? We don't know. Hugo. Ask him. Are you, are you wearing... ¿Qué dijo? Shorts. 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 No, I'm not. I'm wearing jeans. Jeans? Wow, okay. You need to you need to change your outfit. <laughs> Get more comfy. Excuse me, guys. Is Jocelyn wearing um sandals? Is Jocelyn wearing sandals? We never see. Excuse me, Jocelyn. Excuse me, yes. Are you wearing sandals? Are you wearing sandals? Jocelyn? Excuse me, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. She's, she's gone. <laughs> what? It's, she's gone. Jocelyn. Hello. She's primavera. She's falling asleep. She's falling asleep. Okay, let's continue, guys. Good job, man. Good job. You guys are very, very intelligent. I'm very happy with your participation. Movámonos acá. Aquí quisiera que terminemos esto uh, de, este, de esta plataforma como algo adicional que les he dado, right? Porque no podíamos estar solamente en el Insta for Book. Era necesario también agregar cosas uh, importantes. All right? So, así que siéntanse doblemente bendecidos. Right? Yes. Double blessed. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> my pleasure. Let's go over here. Can you, can you see my screen? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, yes. let me just make it a little bigger. Yes, I can see. Okay, perfect. Here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Repeat. Vancouver. 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 Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. 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 Montreal. 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 New York City. New York City. San Juan. San Juan. Brasilia. 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 Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. London. 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 Casablanca. 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 Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Warsaw. 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 This is in Russia. This is in Russia. 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 Moscow. 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 Riyadh. 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 Seoul. Seoul. Bangkok. 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 Tokyo. 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 Sydney. 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 Okay, can you tell me where is Vancouver? What country is Vancouver in? 
Canada. In Canada. That's right. Canada, it's a great country to live in. Because in Canada, people speak three languages. Spanish, English, French. and French. French. So it's a very good country for yeah. us, the Latins, to go to work there or study. Where is, yes, English too. Where is Los Angeles at? What country? United States. The U.S., repeat, the U.S.? The, the US. US. United States. United States. United States. United States. What about Sydney? What country is Sydney in? Do you know geography? Australia. 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 Correct. Australia. Okay. What about Sao Paulo? Brazil. 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 What about Mexico City? Mexico. 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 All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Let's continue. Oh. Let's continue Bank right here. Sydney. Which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and bueno, voy a dejar esto un poquito pendiente porque quiero echarle un vistazo a sus scores. Bueno, quiero agradecerles, chicos, porque han completado sus tareas, ¿verdad? Yo creo que hoy sí todos están solventes. ¿Right? Falta. ¿O les falta? falta? Hoy lo completo. Hoy lo completaré. Excelente, Miss. ¿Alguien más? Algunos, algunos había visto que les faltaba como en el, en el midterm, en una evaluación que se llama midterm, como que les falta algunas partes ahí quizás. Es el caso de alguno. Quiero ver. Por ejemplo, Kathleen. Kathleen, Kathleen Portillo. Me sale que te, estás bajita ahí en el midterm. Luz Marlene también me sale bajita ahí en el midterm. Ok. Vean si pueden verificar ese midterm. Quiero que de, solo ellas dos. Muy bien, Roberto. Reina. Wow, Oscar. Nice job, man. Let me see. Wow, Ronnie. It's complete, Ronnie. Good job. Let me see. Who else? Susana. Oh, Susana. Excuse me, Susana. You know, 100, you have total perfection in all the classes, in all the activities here. That's an amazing performance. Thank you, teacher. And Jocelyn también está con todo ahí. Good job. Yo creo que la mayoría, right? Bueno. Bueno, ya casi vamos a terminar, eh, no la clase, sino que el módulo, guys. Quiero hablar de... Quiero hablar de um, el viernes. El viernes es nuestro último día de clases. Es our last day of classes. Right? Y siempre me gusta retarlos en, en el último día para terminar así como que con, con broche de oro nuestro módulo. Right? With a good demonstration. Ok. Fácil. Lo que van a tener que hacer son 90 seconds speaking. 90 seconds speaking. 90 Van a ustedes a tener speaking. una conversación con un compañero for 90 seconds. Very nice. Um, ¿Qué pueden hacer? Recommendations, tips. Yo les recomendaría hacer un questionnaire. Pueden hacer un, dígame. ¿Qué clase, ¿Qué clase tenemos? La 16 ahora. Hoy es la 16, Miss. Nos quedarán oh. cuatro después de esta. Entonces ya terminé yo también las otras. Voy a iniciar con estas. Super Lucy. Vaya, los que les estoy explicando, guys, es que van a tener desde ahora, correcto, es 90 seconds, es minuto y medio, correcto. Son 90 seconds que tienen que ustedes demostrar sus speaking skills. ¿Cuál es la mejor forma de, de hacer la conversación? Pues obviamente van a comenzar con una introduction, ¿verdad? Un, un greeting, un saludo, right? Y luego, pues, comienzan con sus questions. Acuérdense que um, pueden hacer un questionnaire de todo lo que hemos visto, right Y podemos, eh, necesito las interacciones donde, por ejemplo, si yo le hago una pregunta a Susana, ella me responde, right 
me da la información, pero luego Susana también tiene que pasarme esa misma pregunta a mí. ¿Cómo ella me puede pagar, pasar esa pregunta? Por ejemplo, yo le digo, Susana, un saludo, comenzando. How you doing, Susana? Susana says, I'm happy, teacher, today. And you, and you, es lo más básico para devolverle pregunta. Pero quiero que me usen how about you, que es la forma más formal. Repeat, how about you. How, how about you. Aplica para cualquier tipo de pregunta. Example, yo le digo, um, let me see. Iris, ¿ya, puede, ya, ¿ya tiene mejor audio ahí? Sí. Ahora sí, excelente. But I have a question for you. Quiero ver. Um, what time do you have lunch? Uh, I have lunch um, at 12 o'clock every day. Perfecto. Para devolverme la misma pregunta, usted me dice... How about you, teacher? How about you? A ver todos. How about you? How about you? How about you? Entonces ya no es necesario que me diga, teacher, what time do you? Porque yo ya hice la pregunta, right? Entonces la devuelves. How about you? Repeat. How about you? Dijimos que en you es la forma básica, ¿ok? Hay otra forma. And yourself. Repeat. And yourself. And yourself. And yourself. And yourself. Okay. Vamos a ver. Iris, make a question. Y practicamos how about you. Solo para ver si nos quedó claro. Yes. Iris, make a question to Hugo. Go ahead. Excuse me, Hugo. I have a question for you. Yes, tell me. Why do you like at work? <laughs> Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Why? Why do you like? Uh, no sé si es your work or your job or at work. Uh, your your job. job. Repeat. Okay. Your job. Yes. Repeat the complete question. Why? Why do you like your job? Sorry. Spell life. Why do you like like, like your, your job? Oh. pitch? Yes, yes, I understand. I know because uh, it's interesting. Is is to very exciting uh, in, in the how do you say ambiente laboral puedes decir the partnership the partnership is great partnership the par partnership is great o puedes decir the environment, el ambiente en sí, ¿verdad? Environment. A ver, guys, esa palabrita que nos da Hugo. Environment. 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 Good job. Environment. The environment is nice. Ah, repeat, Hugo. Let's go, Iris. How about you? Um, es la misma pregunta para mí. Es la misma pregunta, Iris. Es como um, ask the question back to you. Le, le regresa la bola, Hugo, with the bat. Um, Guys, este, este inglés ya es otro nivel, ¿ok? Ya los estoy llevando yo a otro nivel. No se pongan nerviosos. Lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Les he dicho que van a sacar un questionnaire para que a la hora del drill no, no se vayan a quedar como que trabaditos. Si se quedan trabaditos, ven los apuntes, ¿sí? Dígame. En ese caso, teacher, él me dice, how about you? En ese caso, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo contesto? 
Igual, igual que Hugo, eh, respondiendo con, con because, porque la suya era un why question. Siempre que usted pregunta con why, damos la explicación con because. Oh, okay. Because I like it, it's very funny, I really mm -hmm. like my job, yeah. etc. Entonces, esto nos va a llevar a otro nivel. Porque vamos a tener que procesar las preguntas bien rápido. Por medio de las respuestas del compañero, porque el compañero no más responda. How about you? Y de repente usted, ay, la misma pregunta que yo le hice. Entonces, no se preocupe. Mañana, bueno, ahora yo sé que es nuevo esto para ustedes. Yo sé que es el primer project que van a tener, el primer reto real. Entonces vamos a irlo construyendo poquito a poco porque tenemos todavía toda la semana. Entonces háganme de las mismas preguntas que hemos sacado ahora, saquen unas cinco, unas tres, unas cinco que les gustaron. Ok, y mañana vamos a hacer un pequeño drill de la evaluación que vamos a tener el viernes. El miércoles vamos a hacer otro drill, otro pequeño, y el jueves hacemos el último drill para que el viernes ustedes se luzcan. Ok. Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, about the, the activity for the Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, you get the couples or we choose a partner? It's going to be random. Oh, so you, you, you give buffs. I will pick them. Oh, okay, okay. That's, da, 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 da. That's my favorite moment. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, tenía una victims. consulta con... Iris tenía una consulta con usted, honey. Sí. Yes. Fíjese <laughs> que a mí no me sale usted en la lista de los scores. En la lista de las notas. O sea, sí me um, sale en la lista de asistencia. Uh -huh. Pero en la lista de las notas yo no puedo ver su desempeño. ¿Usted me tiene dije. acceso a, a eso? ¿Usted ha estado trabajando en sus tasks? No, no me ha quedado tiempo. Ok, ok, no, no le ha quedado tiempo, tiempo pero, pero usted tiene acceso a ellos. Usted tiene acceso a, los, a, 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 las, los, tareas. a las tareas. Yo creo que sí. Voy a revisar mañana. Porque si sí, no he revisado. Necesito algo así urgente. Uh -huh. Necesito que mañana se comunique con... ¿Cómo se llama la chica, guys? Víctor, ¿cómo sí. se llama? Catherine. Catherine. Ok, necesito que se comunique con Catherine mañana. ¿Sí? En un chat, envíele, no es necesario que le llame. Mándele uh -huh. un chat y pregúntele... Um, ¿Cuál es su situación? Si me le puede ayudar, coméntele de que yo no la veo en mi listado. Ajá. Yo creo que no hay problema porque ahora me mandaron, bueno, me enviaron un, un mensaje diciéndome que había pasado al siguiente módulo, pero no sé cómo, cómo es el proceso, la verdad. No sé serio, si me están vaya. mintiendo. O vaya, sí, porque yo su, su asistencia sí la tengo. Su sí. Como le decía, en el listado de asistencia sí me aparece, pero y, y está bien su asistencia, está muy bien. Pero su, sus actividades no las no la veo, no veo su nombre acá en la lista de notas, digamos, en la lista de notas, sí. dígale. Entonces solo uh -huh. quiere asegurarse que usted aparezca, solo eso, dígame, y me ayuda a completarlas porque de eso dependemos también que usted me apruebe el modelo, ¿ok? Bien. Y este, ¿cuál es el número de ella? Eh, Víctor. Sí. Perdón. Ella escribe siempre en el grupo. Con... Ah, es la chica que nos, que nos da seguimiento, Miss. En el, ¿Usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp, Iris? No, yo no, te, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Oh, my eh. God. Iris. ¿Qué no es? ¿Y pero, por qué nunca me ha dicho nada? Porque, no sé, teacher, yo no sé. Víctor, dame el número de Kat. Da, Catherine, por favor, búscalo ahí rapidito mientras paso lista. Sí. que le manda a Catherine está el, para ingresar al chat, si no me equivoco? En, sí. el, en el correo principal, en el principal está, ¿verdad, Miss? No. Correo pues, Iris, está. Revíseme el, el, el correo que le mandaron desde de el principio, donde estaban todos los detalles. Desde, ahí tiene que haber un link inicio. de WhatsApp. Sí, uh -huh. ahí está en ese correo. Creo que Catherine es la que ha enviado que hemos pasado. Correcto. Vaya, este. Sí, aquí tengo el, 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 el chat que ella me, me envió ahora. Vaya, confirmemos ese número en el grupo de WhatsApp. Later on, please. Necesito es confirmar el... la asistencia, guys, real quick. Yep. 
El 72. Ella, Dígame. Aún está revisando. Es que me dijo que yo tenía, me faltan tareas o me dijo que las tengo bajo nota o algo así. No, no sí, entiendo. el midterm. Necesito que me lo revise, el midterm. Y dije, ahí en el chat está el número. Sí, ese es. Correcto. Voy a revisar. Ya lo verifiqué y exacto. Excelente, es. chicos. Great job. Vamos entonces con el attendance, the last one. Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. Are you still there? Presente, presente. Hugo Ezequiel Deres Mauricio. Thank you so much. Iris Yvette Saldaña Lena Ducey. Present. Iván Armando Méndez Parada. Present. José Heriberto Cruz Amaya. Sí estuvo, ¿verdad? José Heriberto. José Heriberto. No. Me pareció haberlo visto. Ok. Josué Valmore, Cruz Montano, Missing in Action, Juan Ramón Navarro Díaz, Kathleen Stephanie Portillo de Lorenzana is present. Present. Lucía del Carmen Ayala Mejía. Present, teacher. Luz Marlene Cornejo Álvarez. Present. Melvin Rafael Díaz Mijango. Present. Noel Ernesto Vega Ortiz. Present. Oscar Armando Flores Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Present, teacher. Ronnie Oswaldo Claro Flamenco. Present, teacher. Suzanne Caroline Alfaro Gomes. I am here. All right, Victor Manuel Andrade Galias. Present. Jocelyn Lisbeth Angel Inglés. <laughs> Carlos Eduardo Gomez Gomez. Reina Mercedes Altagracia Barrientos. Carla Lisset Valladares Flamenco. Present teacher. And Jeanette Esmeray Guzmán Rosa. Present. All right, thank you so much. Guys, quiero ver quién se puede quedar ahora. Les pregunto, let me see. Ronnie, it's your turn, Ronnie. Can you, can you stay 10 minutes? Okay. All right. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sweet Good night. dreams. Practice your English, folks. See you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, Mr. Ronnie Oswaldo Claros Flamenco, gentlemen. The popular, the only one, Ronnie. <laughs> What's going on, Ronnie? It's a pleasure, man. Tell Life me about you, system. Ronnie. Why is that this module is important for you? What are your, your expectations? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? ¿Alguna queja que usted tenga? ¿Algún miedo? ¿Algún tip que usted necesite? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, hasta el momento, bien. Uh Estamos bien. En general, ¿usted se siente bien? Sí, este, siento que he progresado bastante en la clase. Este, um, creo que nunca había recibido una clase como tan intensa y progresiva a la vez. <risa> <risa> uh, lo que me decís es music to my ears. Es que sí, si los, los saco que, un poquito de su zona de confort, ¿verdad? Sí, porque siento que cada clase este, es como que así un granito de maíz para mi, 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 mi conocimiento, ¿verdad? Porque en las clases, como quien diría, las clases clásicas, mmm, there to be only. Lo pasamos no de ahí. More, ¿no? yes. Y ahora, pues, hasta diferentes formas de, de iniciar una conversación o de responder, por ejemplo, last way and yourself. Um, how about you? Por eso es que este, este, este um, programa funciona, Ronnie. Y... Si te entregas, así como estás tú y muchos de tus compañeros, eh, van a tener éxito, man. Eh, yo he sido testigo de muchos participantes que, bueno, ni llegan al nivel intermedio, 
quizás al, uh, digo, ni llegan al intermedio, al nivel avanzado, por decirte algo. Antes de llegar al nivel avanzado, por intermedio 3, intermedio 4, ya ellos ya hablan demasiado bien y pues ya comienzan a hacer transición de, de trabajo, ¿verdad? Quizás aplican a otros trabajos, quedan y pues he sido testigo de esos, de esa, de esa migración, de ese, de ese ascenso de muchos de mis estudiantes. Y pues eso es un gran alivio, de verdad, es un gran, ¿cómo se dice? Un relief, es como un gran, no sé cómo se dice eso en español, la verdad, es como un gran eh, 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 emotivo, es que te digan, teacher, que ve, fíjate. Es un big progress. Es un big progress, que alguien te diga, chica, mira, una vez un alumno me dice, teacher, Quedé en la empresa, teacher, bilingual account, en una cuenta bilingüe. Y comenzó estudiando inglés básico conmigo. Su empresa le dio la oportunidad ganando el mínimo. Bueno, y ahora ganando más de 600 dólares. O sea, imagínate, es una gran alegría para mí. ¿Tú la para qué estás que... aprendiendo inglés? ¿Estás planeando viajar o algo así? La verdad es que, como que, por ejemplo... Tal vez algún día viajar, pero más que todo conocer por el hecho de que si alguien me dice, hey, where are you at? Or is, uh, hey, where are you from, man? Uh, o tú, eh, ¿Qué quieres de comer? Y por ejemplo, y saber qué responder. O mi trabajo, más que todo, como soy ingeniero de sistema, la mayoría de software, los desarrolladores son en inglés, entonces hay que ponerse pilas con mm. eso. Es ahí que usted tiene, tiene como una basecita, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí hay que estar siempre al Ey, día. Me alegra mucho su, su uh, ¿cómo se dice? Su proactividad. En inglés es proactivity. Porque muchos de sus compañeros, usted tiene compañeros de trabajo acá en la, en la clase, ¿verdad? Sí, Ramón, Oscar, Heriberto. Pues los he Todos entrevistado compañeros. a ellos anteriormente. Me dicen que, que usted pues es, es de los que le gusta practicar. Y, y qué bonito que mantengan ese ambiente en, la, en, la, en el trabajo también, ¿verdad? Eso de, de practicar un rato, de ponerse un rato ahí, aprovechando que están ustedes. De, de hecho, este dice, I, I am Caleo. Dice, good job, good job. <risa> <risa> Hasta <risa> yo salgo ahí a bailar. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, pero es una forma de que cuando tenemos tiempos libres, pues lo, lo hacemos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y ahí vamos para matar la rutina del día también. Ok. Dime, Ronnie, ¿qué es la parte que más se te haría difícil a ti? ¿Qué es lo que más pues se te la, complica? La verdad es que como hay cosas similares, por ejemplo... Uh, cuando aplicamos el... el yo sé que son diferentes formas de preguntar. Por ejemplo, que ahora estaba utilizando el verbo to be cuando eh, tenía que utilizar el, el does, el, el do. Los auxiliares. Entonces, y como, y como, la, eh, como eh, quitarse la idea de, de siempre solo el, el limitarse al verbo to be, como que ya lo tenemos programado. Es cierto. Mira, tienes mucha razón. Es que vas expandiendo. Tu conocimiento se va expandiendo enormemente. Si tú haces una evaluación de tu conocimiento en este momento versus el primer día que comenzamos, Ronnie, hay, hay bastante información ahí. Sí, la verdad es que sí. Este, tal vez no diría que así al 100% todo lo he absorbido, pero creería que algo he aprendido. Y aún si no lo has absorbido todo, ahí hay bastante información. Entonces hay bastante progreso. A veces no nos damos cuenta. A veces no nos damos cuenta de cuánto hemos avanzado, ¿me entendés? Pero sí, ahí está el conocimiento y va a llegar un momento en que todo eso pues, va a terminar de explotar y va a salir todo lo que tiene que salir, right? You're going to express all your ideas. Qué bonito es pensar las cosas y decirlas así, real time. Tiempo real en inglés. Y ese es un nivel al que ustedes van a llegar pretty soon. ¿Ok? Pues la idea, porque ya, ya iniciamos el proceso de, de inscripción para el siguiente módulo. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. ¿Y, ¿Y qué les han dicho? ¿Sabes qué les han dicho? 
Oh, pues di, eh, Catherine, me parece que Catherine es la uh -huh. persona que coordina ahí en Tiri uh -huh. este, como que dijo que fuera preparando la planilla de, del mes anterior. Y, Pero no te dijo más o menos cuándo comenzaríamos. No, eso sí, no. Lo ah, desconozco, okay. la verdad. Okay. Ok, very well. A veces hay, hay como que un día, dos días de descanso, a veces tres días en el peor de los casos. Veremos Me entonces. Creo que si culminamos esta semana, iniciaríamos la próxima. Esa es la meta. Uh -huh. Esa es la meta. La meta es iniciar de lleno el, el 25 sin darle descanso, a darle la intensidad, ¿verdad? Porque para qué bajarle, ¿verdad? Si ahorita ya el sistema ya está forced, ya está educated, ya saben la dinámica. Entonces, eh, vamos a ver, pero eso dependerá de todas las empresas que presenten sus documentos así a tiempo. Esperemos que sí. Ok, Ronnie. Nice talking to you, my boy. I'll see you tomorrow, ok? You have a good night, boy. Ok, my pleasure, teacher. Good night. All right, take it easy, man.